Well, welcome to another edition of the Don't Argue, and this is a special edition. Have a look at where the great man Kirk Gidley is. Uh, somewhere, somewhere on the New South Wales Coast, kids. <laughs> Mate, all for the Mark Hughes Foundation. You're a massive supporter of this, buddy, and uh, good on you. And you're on a huge bike ride as we speak, kids. Take us and tell us all about yes. it. Yeah, buddy, it's unreal, mate. We um we did this last year. Remember we spoke about it last year? We rode to Mudgee for the Knights first Manly game. Well, mate, this year we are riding over 360Ks from Newcastle to Tamworth um, over the mountains via Musselbrook. We're in tonight. We're at the Railway Hotel here. And we're going to Moon and Flat Pub. Then we'll be at the Peel Inn in Nundal. And then we'll be there at the footy. We'll be at the Southgate Inn Friday night. And then we'll be at the footy night first Tigers in Tamworth. That is unreal, hey, mate. You're a superstar. All for two, two, two charities, mate. The Mark Hughes Foundation here. Obviously, a uh, very well-known um, night's old boy. And also, Brian Carney, uh, English winger, played with us in 2006. He, he and his wife have started... Uh, a foundation called Gand Aid. His, his young daughter has a really super, super rare disease called Gand Syndrome. So us as Knights Old Boys, we want to show our support for, for both uh, two of our former teammates and we're going to raise as much money as we can, hopefully around 50K uh, over these four days. Unreal, mate. How's the backside, buddy? Yeah, a tender. A bit tender. <laughs> but, mate, we've all just had a bit of a shower and a hot shower and a wash and that feels great. Now we're just settling down for a couple of cold ones and we've got the goblet. What's so, mate, the, the goblet, goblet? What is the goblet, mate? The goblet, the goblet has travelled around the world. It's been to base camp twice. It's been to Mount Kilimanjaro. It's been to Borneo, Kokoda, and uh, Kakadu when COVID was on. The goblet goes to the best and fairest uh, player's player every day, and then it goes to the player's player of every single trip the Mark Hughes Foundation has put on. Uh, so the goblet is a very, very prized piece of... Um, Mate, of, of, of material, that's it's for not, sure. It's not silverware. You were going to say silverware. No, not silverware. Not silverware. Antique. Hey. Very, very prized antique. Hey, mate, and it's now even on the don't argue. Palmer bets don't argue, big fella. Hey. Here's a few of the boys rolling in now. Look at this. Look at Chris Aston. Look at that boy. Luke Quigley, boy. James Wynn, Daniel <laughs> Abraham. He's all the lads. <laughs> what a straight bunch of the bar, they are. Look at them. Straight to the bar, not mucking straight around. Straight to the bar. Hydrating. Hydrating up. We, we need to get you out, mate. Let's do this show so you can get in there and yep, enjoy the it. celebrations, mate. But uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the good quickly, uh, kids. The Dolphins, they just keep on getting the job done, mate. They are an awesome mm. out getting good on them. No, unbelievable, Matty. We keep talking about them each week. That's, mate, and the players they've got out, Matty, that's the thing. They're, they're two years in the competition, and the players that they've got out, um, experienced players and obviously um, the hammer, you know, electric speed, yep. they've still been able to maintain mate, good performances and, and consistency and good on them. Well done. Dollar ninety one to make the eight, seven bucks to make the top four, and they are doing both those things at the moment. Uh, Manly's collapse on the weekend. Um, they were twenty four six up with thirty minutes to go, twenty straight points to to uh, to lose to the Raiders, mate. They'd be disappointed and once again, and we've spoken about this, kids, the up and down. Of the Manly Seagulls. Yeah. yeah, mate. They're, yeah, we have spoken about it, Matty. And they'll be aware of that. You know, consistency is just, it, it's gold at this time of the year to be winning back-to-back -back games. Um, but they haven't been able to maintain long-term consistency. And, and if they want to be, you know, top 14, top six, top eight, whatever they, they aspire to be, you've got to win consistently. Gritty, uh, gritty wins, good performances, wins where you blow teams out of the water. So, uh Yep, they're, they're still finding their way a bit, aren't they? Hey, mate, the ugly. We have to touch on it once again. The Bunnies uh, sacked their coach, went down to the Panthers 42-12, uh, and they've lost their captain, Cam Murray, for the next two months to injury. Uh, it doesn't get yeah. much easier, does it? They're taking on St. George on the weekend. But uh, and I'm actually yes. I'm half swaying my tips at the moment. i just got a sneaking suspicion. Yeah. Rabbit, I'll pull one from the hat to the, this weekend. Oop. Matty, I thought they their performance for, I forget how many minutes into the game, but they competed. I think they might have scored first. They might have even scored the first couple, but they competed and they took it to the Panthers for for um, a fair period of time during that game. We, we spoke about the response teams have uh, when they sacked their coach, but yeah, for, as that game, the longer it went, the more they got sort of blown out of the water and, and Panthers back their experience long-term in that game. Mate, last week you went five out of eight. I went four out of eight. Pass marks for both of us. We're going to give them a little tick. Uh, your mm. 
Best you kids get in for last week. One from two. Dragon 13 plus. Zach Lomax let you down, mate, with no tries. He was close. Um, I'm struggling with my best bets. I know. We both are, to be honest. But we just we need to bounce back, kids. And uh, Mm. it's all going to start this week because we've got a huge round to get through. And it doesn't get much bigger than Thursday night footy. 7.50 at Suncorp Stadium. Head to head. The Dolphins 204. (laughs) Manly at $1.78. Once again, the Dolphins... Of the outsiders. I can't work this out. Yeah. But line, Dolphins plus one and a half dollar ninety. Manly minus one and a half dollar ninety. Key talking points. Uh the Dolphins obviously coming off a great win against the Cowboys uh last week. And uh if they have a win over Manly, it'll be the first time they've won four straight ever since entering the competition. Yeah, wow. For the Manly Seagulls, mate, tough loss to the Raiders, but could uh have Benny Trevojevic back at the side, which would be a massive boost, of course, especially in the middle of the ground. And not a fan of Suncorp. The Seagulls have conceded 106 points in their last three losses at Suncorp State. Surprising. That is huge. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going, yeah. I'm sticking fat with the Dolphins, man. I can't work out every week. Palmer Beck just put up odds, silly odds for a side that's in great nick. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I've tipped the Eagles here only because I'm expecting a response out of their, you know, they lost last week. Their way they lost yeah. out in front and then for it to turn around so dramatically. So I'm expecting a big response out of the Eagles, but not a great record at Suncorp. That's one thing. And mate, the Dolphins are Wayne Bennett. The EB's thriving. I've been the outsider every week. Thriving. So it's a hard one to be against the Dolphins, but I'm, I'm going to go to the Eagles just, just purely out of a response on the back of a, a poor loss. Just keep printing money if you're back at the Dolphins at the moment. It's as simple as that. Yeah. Hey, Panthers taking the Bulldogs Friday, 6 p.m. at Panthers Stadium, head to head. Panthers at dollar fourteen. Bulldogs at five seventy five. At the line, the Panthers minus fourteen and a half dollar ninety. Bulldogs plus fourteen and a half dollar ninety. Key talking points here for the Panthers. They cruised to victory, of course, over the Bunnies. Uh, Nathan Cleary should be back. Uh, they thought he was going to be back last week, and we all did. Uh, for the Bulldogs, another strong performance from the Dogs. They knocked off the Tigers. Rank outsiders here. I can't really work the odds difference out here, to be honest. I thought it might have been a little bit tighter. And like looking in the mirror, the Bulldogs will have four Penrith Premiership players in their lineup. Steve Crichton, Matt Burton, uh, Kikau, and Jamin Selman uh, in that lineup for the Canterbury Bulldogs. So that is very, very interesting there. Gids coming up against the old side. Yeah, I reckon they'll have a bit of motivation, those guys you've just mentioned there, Matty. Uh, mate, still hard to back against the Panthers. Yeah, I'll tell you one talking point. It might be interesting to see yeah, if Nathan Cleary does does back up. They, I mean, they apparently they stood him down last week just from a recovery point of view because it was such a quick turnaround. But if he's missing again this week, he may have re-injured his hamstring in that previous game. So I reckon they might be foxing a little bit, kids, not letting too much out. Oh, I think so. I think there might be a little bit of that because you just can't risk, you know, yeah. re injuring your hamstring or there might be another little twins there. But yep, if he's if he's on, you'll need to be, you know, ninety nine percent fit for this game rather than not risk him. And yep, as you as you mentioned, mate, those Bulldog players, they'll be right up for the former Penrith Panthers players. Kids, should this be a bit tighter in the betting? Like 575 for the Bulldogs, who haven't been too bad the last month. Yeah, mate, they've been they've been pretty impressive, mate. They've turned their their defensive record, I think they've nearly cut it in half from what I heard this week. They're you know, they're poor defensively last year and they've really turned it around. And I think, you know, getting your defense right to start with builds confidence and belief. And I think they're starting to to experience that. Right, uh, I'm I'm actually uh, I'm sticking with the Panthers, obviously, but I actually reckon the line's the way to play there because I reckon it'll be a little bit tighter than what people think. Um, yeah, fourteen and a half is a big line. Right, oh, let's move along. Uh, Parramatta Eels taking on the Brisbane Broncos Friday 8 p.m. at Combank Stadium. Head to head, the Eels three thirty five. Broncos a dollar thirty three at the line. The Eels plus eight and a half dollar ninety. Broncos minus eight and a half dollar ninety. Key talking points here, all thanks to Palmer Bet. Eels coming off the bye, but they are without Clint Gutherson and Mitch Moses. So a couple of really big names out there. And for the Broncos, it was a horror week after losing to the Chooks. They also lost Adam Reynolds again and Jesse mm. Arthur to injury. Pro old Adam Reynolds, he can't take a trick this season and can't win without him. The Eels have lost their last nine games when missing Clint Gutherson. So he's the barometer, kids. Yeah, well. I forgot about uh, Adam Reynolds' bicep injury, to be honest, before I looked at this game. But also, they, they almost cancel each other out, mate. Clint Gutherson's out for for the Eels, and he's their spiritual leader and real passionate captain. 
Um, and Adam Reynolds out. I think Broncos have still got enough talent in their team to get this one done. I, I like the line. I'd, give, I'd be giving away eight and a half start for the Broncos at dollar ninety. Yeah, I, I'm. I love me Bronx. I just uh, they'll bounce back. Uh, disappointing last week, but they'll uh, they'll bounce back. Uh, and a fair bit uh, going on in regards to uh, Reese Walsh and his future at the Broncos, which I think yeah. is going to play out over the uh, the next uh, few weeks and months. I would say. Um, Tigers taking on the Knights Saturday. 3 p.m. Scully Park in uh, in Tamworth. Head to head, the Tigers 220. Newcastle Knights at dollar 67. Gives out good last week at the line. The Tigers plus three and a half dollar 90. Knights minus three and a half dollar 90. They just had to defend last week in trying conditions. Key talking points here. Tigers have now lost five straight. They're dropping down the ladder really quickly, currently sitting in fifth mm. position. Good win for the Knights. As we said, Warriors at home. They could have Tyson Frizzle back into the side after missing the last couple of weeks. And got the Tigers number. The Knights have won their last four games against the Tigers. They'll be full of confidence. And I reckon after last week's victory, Gids, I don't know what the feeling was like, but that was a good, tough win for the side, wasn't it? Yeah, good win, buddy. Both teams were at similar stages of the year. The Warriors had been a little bit inconsistent, been coming off the back of a great season last year. Knights coming off the back of a great season last year, but had some inconsistency. So whoever won last week, it was an important win, number one, and it was going to just you know, bring them into the following week in the video session with, again, a little bit of excitement and happiness, and that's important in any team. I wouldn't read too much into the Knights beating the Tigers over the last four games, uh, considering the Tigers have struggled the last couple of years. But, yeah, it's a bit of a neutral ground. Uh, Scully Park in Tamworth, it's probably closer. It's definitely closer than Newcastle. I think there'll be plenty of Knights fans travelling up there and could see it as a more of a home game for the Knights than the Tigers. So, I'll stick with the mighty Knights, mate, on this one. And, and this is where you boys are finishing gits? You're going to be at the... Yeah, first... 100%, mate. Awesome. We will be there. We'll be arriving uh, Friday afternoon in Tamworth, and we've got a, a, a fundraising function at the South Gate Inn if anyone wants to come along. Awesome, mate. You're an absolute legend, buddy. Hey, uh, I'm sticking with your Knights too. I, I love the Knights, mate. You're a, you're an outfit, and I reckon you're just going to come good um, in the back half of the year like you did last year. Right, eh? Dragons taking on the Rabbitohs Saturday, 5.30 p.m. at Nestratus Jubilee Stadium. Head to head, Dragons, $1.62. Rabbitohs, two thirty at the line. The Dragons, minus $2.50. Rabbitohs, plus $2.50. Key talking points. Dragons uh, improved against the Sharks, but errors still got in the way of potential upset. Completing it, or oh, their completion rate was only 71% of their sets. For the Rabbitohs, another tough loss. They do lose Cam Murray, as we spoke about. But the big one, Latrell Mitchell comes back in from a uh, an extended mm. uh, stint on the sidelines. And Latrell, the destroyer, Latrell Mitchell has scored 10 tries in his last nine games against the Dragons. What do you reckon, Gids? I'm with the Rabbitohs, oh. mate. I'm sticking yeah, with no, no, no. I, I'm going with the Rabbitohs, buddy. Mate, I actually, I did, I tipped before I come on tonight, I tipped the Dragons. I oh. reckon Latrell will come back and have a big one. I just think. Oh, no, mate. Hey, mate, I think he's brought some pressure on the club. There's no doubt about that with his suspension and, and um, all the other headlines that uh, you know, he may or may not be a part of. But I don't know. I think I'll, I'll, think I'll tip the bunnies, mate. I'll change, me, I'll change my pick A to the, to the rabbits. I'm with you, mate. Might and my Maddie's must have a little bit later on. We will come back to it. But I'll, I'm going 1 to 12 or 1 to 13, whatever the margin is. Okay. So tight and Latrell to score. Two plus tries. So Ooh, we'll be, wow. We're all on the same that page. Be, that will be lucrative. All right. Okay. So that, that's what I'm going to uh, go. And uh, I, I love the fact that he does play well against the Dragons. And our man, Kyle, uh, who's a mad South. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to be filthy on these. Well, uh, he is going to be absolutely St. George. I should say St. George. He is going to be absolutely filthy, mate. He won't even probably put this yeah. episode up. I'd say he's going to be that <laughs> We never, ever tip his dragons. Right, eh? Storm v. the Sharks, Saturday, 7.30. This is going to be a beauty. Amy Park going to be a sellout. Storm head-to-head, dollar sixty-eight. Sharks, two eighteen At the line, the Storm, minus $3.50. Sharks, plus $3.50. Key talking points here. Uh, Storm got away with one last week uh, with a two-point victory over the Gold Coast Titans. And another Ryan Pappenhausen injury uh, shattering for Storm Fox. Yeah. The Sharks, they took down the Dragons in a tough game. I tell you what, that game could have gone either way. And can they buck the trend? The Sharks have not won at Amy Park since 2018, while the Storm have won their last 14 at home, kids. That is pretty damning. Um, 
Can the Sharks cause a little bit of an upset, mate? They've been in good nick all year. Yeah, yeah. Look, the Shark. I mean, Storm at Amy Park is they're always so tough down there, mate. They've been they've been getting away with some of those really close, tough, gritty win wins, like the Warriors won right to to the end of the game. But there's been a number of others as well. Um, again, I was probably leaning towards the Storm before we jumped on this this uh, this call, but. I'm going, to, I'm going to go to the Sharks, mate. I'm going to go to the Sharks, and probably with Pappenhausen out to reshuffle the back line again. I'm going to go with Sharks to win just head to head. Mate, Storm are going to make it 15 on the trot at home, mate. They don't lose down there, and they're going to be sherry right for uh, for the Cronulla Sharks to knock and uh, get another notch in the belt, I reckon, for mine. Hey, Roosters taking on the Warriors Sunday, 2 p.m. at Allianz Stadium. All of a sudden, the Warriors just under a little bit of pressure. Head-to-head, Roosters, $1.28. Warriors at three seventy At the line, the Roosters, minus $10.50, $1.99. Warriors, plus $10.82. Key talking points, uh, great win against the Broncos last week for the Roosters. Show that they are the real deal in 2024 for mine. Uh, some serious firepower back. Victor Radley, Brandon Smith, Daniel Tupu and Spencer Lenu uh, come uh, into that side, of course, last week. The Warriors hard lost the Knights, which has anchored the Warriors in 14th spot. Gids, I think we both mm. had them in our top four, mate. Yeah, the start of the year. And tough to pick against them. The Cooks have won their last seven games against the Warriors. Uh, I reckon they'll continue that trend, uh, but it's just getting into some dangerous territory for the Warriors, isn't it? Yeah, it is for sure. I mean, great win by the Roosters last week against the Bronx, that's for sure. I mean, look at the firepower. Yeah, coming back. That's yeah, great, great lineup of those guys coming into the Roosters team this week. And yep, unfortunately for for the Warriors, sitting in 14th spot, we you know I sort of had a mini mark. I think for my top four. Uh, yeah, we I, look. We, the competition needs to have a strong Warriors team. They've they've got great support. Yep. They've been selling yep. out their stadiums, which is great. But yeah, the supporters aren't going to stick around if they're going to be successful. So I can't back them for this one. I'll go the Roosters. Yeah, I'm sticking with the Roosters, mate. Any side that beats the Broncos is a good football side for mine. So uh, they will get the job done. Titans Cowboys final game Sunday, four oh five, Seabar Super Stadium, head to head. Titans two twenty six, Cowboys a dollar sixty four at the line. The Titans plus three and a half dollar ninety, Cowboys minus three and a half dollar ninety. Key talking points the Titans tough loss to a good side in the Storm last week. Plenty of positives. Their last couple of weeks, two or three weeks, has been good. Yeah. Cowboys, dear supporting loss to the Dolphins. Uh, they committed 13 errors in that contest. And take the line, the Titans' last four games been decided by four points or less, which is really interesting, Gids. I must admit, we're talking about teams where I reckon their season's kind of, uh, you know, it's on the line. Cowboys need to start winning, yeah. don't they? They do, for sure. Man, they're, yeah, they're pretty disappointing. I think um, Todd Payton will be super disappointed in you know, defensive effort this year. Uh Mate, I'm going with the Titans on this one, Matty. I think they've showed some improvement, you know, since certainly since round one. But over the past two to three weeks, I think they've had some genuine improvement there. They've challenged some teams. It was even yeah, it was the, they beat the Warriors over there recently. So, mate, I'm going to go for Titans for an upset here. Uh, Gids, uh, I'm actually uh, oh, geez, this is a real toss. I'm actually no, I'm going Cowboys, mate. I'm sticking with the Cowboys in this one. Okay. Um, so that is uh, that is the eight games this weekend, Gids, and there's plenty, as always, as we've seen each and every week, so many of these games are a toss of the coin for mine, uh, and there's there's another couple this weekend. Give us your pick eight, Gids, uh, and I'll key it straight in here, big fella, and uh, I'll tell you what odds, buddy. Yeah, mate, I went Eagles to win, mate, Panthers, Broncos, Knights. Yep. I've ended up jumping on the Bunnies. Yes. I've jumped I've jumped on the Sharks. Yes. Roosters and Titans. There'd be a bit of value in that, I'd Ooh, say. Value for the Palm Bed followers this week. 6175 kids. Oh yeah. That's yeah. simple. All you gotta do is just uh key it into your uh into your little uh, phone. Too here. easy. Just put it in, Too kids. Easy now, it is. I'm going to go, kids, uh, and we've got a couple a little bit different here. So I have gone the Dolphins, uh, and Thursday night footy, Penrith. Um, Broncos get the job done Newcastle to get the job done um, Rabbitohs to get the job done with you Melbourne Storm to beat Cronulla Roosters And I'm sticking with the Cowboys Shouldn't be as much as you to be honest oh, 45 no. kids Okay oh, oh, that's all right, mate, mate. What yeah. about the kids get on buddy? What do you got for us? Yeah mate the kids get on I, 
I'm expecting a response out of the Eagles. They've got to respond from that game, the way they lost. I think they'll come out with a big one. I'm going to go Eagles 13 plus, mate. And total try bands between nine to ten tries. Something different now. And a big... Or just under eight bucks. Just under eight bucks. I love it, mate. I told you mine earlier, mate. I'm going with the Rabbitohs. Yeah. A little bit of a boil over. And Latrell to score two, two plus tries. I reckon that'll be about 12 or 13 bucks, kids. That's, um, going to have it. That's definitely going to have some value. One, one to 12, the margin being uh, there as well. So uh, that is uh, Maddie's must-have yeah. for this week. Download that Palmer Bet app. Get involved. It is a really simple app to get around. Uh, and as we always say, gamble response. We always think about what you're really gambling with. Gids, I don't want to hold you up, mate, because I know you're doing some wonderful ah, things and you've got plenty thanks, going mate, on. For Just give, phone in remotely. Give it a plug again, mate, to those both those charities on those T-shirts. Look sensational. Yep. And aid, mate, Mark Hughes Foundation. Mark Hughes Foundation. Go to the Mark Hughes Foundation website and Gand Aid. Uh, my, the, the GoFundMe page is linked to my Instagram if you want to go and check it out. It's, uh, it's our nice old boy, Brian Carney, and his wife, Rebecca, gandauk.com, uh, .org it is, actually. Uh, but two great charities that we, we're raising some money for, mate, that is um, is going to research and assistance to, to families who have got brain cancer or gain syndrome. And by the time you get to the footy, mate, uh, Tamworth, hopefully uh, the butt soothed a little bit, big fella, and uh, you have a wonderful We'll be, we'll be wobbling in, mate, by that stage. Mate, just show us where, where are the boys, mate? Just give us a little bit of a show around the bar. Well, mate, they're at the, they're at, they're at, they're at the, mate, they're at the back of the fire. There's a big fire pit out the back there. Have a look. Um, just out, just out through, through hey, the door a, here. Is that and, a Sydney uh, Swans or is that a St. George rugby mate, top? Mate, have a look at this. Have a look at, have a look at the memorabil- memorabilia. Look at the Horse racing. racing. Through the footy, Sturlo. Unbelievable. That old Saints jersey up there. Um, there's some quality stuff here. Any, mate, this is the Kirk railway Gilly, hotel. Any, any Kirk Gidley gear, mate? Uh, not yet, but he might have some by the end of this trip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good on you, legend. Always a pleasure, mate. You go and enjoy. And I want that goblet in your hands. The goblet. Uh, end of the trip, mate. So you go your hardest, big fella, and, uh, and enjoy. Let me go hard. <laughs> See you, kids. <laughs> have a great week, Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. See you, mate. Bye. What are you really gambling with? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.